How's it going guys? Before we get into today's video, a lot of you've been asking John and Sam, what kind of boots do you guys wear when you're ice fishing, hunting in Alaska? Pretty much what's your go-to boots to keep you guys up and at them, you know, for all these days straight of grinding. And I thought I would show you guys, these are the boots that we've been rocking. Personally, these ones are my favorite. These are the Tidewee boots right here. They are 800 grams of Thinsulate insulation, and they even got a cool little pattern right there. So these things are really great to use for hunting, fishing, all the stuff that we do. If you guys would like to check out their boots or any other products they have, they're super affordable and a really, really good quality boot and all the other stuff they have is quality too. Use our code MINDAC18 to save 18% off at checkout. You guys won't be mad. Enjoy the video. Yep, that looks like a cottontail rabbit to me. Oh, wait, got to draw the tail. Here we go. Well, welcome back to another video, everybody. As you guys can tell, we are gonna be going rabbit hunting out in the backyard, which we haven't done in a very long time. This is something that John and I used to do a lot when we were growing up as kids, and you guys have really seemed to like these videos. So with that being said, the last couple of years, John and I haven't really been doing a whole lot of this. We've mostly just been doing ice fishing. So we decided to take a little break from ice fishing, and we decided it'd be a good idea to maybe try and get a rabbit. So we got the 17 HMR right here. This is gonna be its first time actually on a rabbit hunt. We're gonna sight it in. It's not sighted in at all. So that is why we drew that picture of that lovely little chungus. Once we get this bad boy sighted in, we are gonna hopefully go out into the trees and get some rabbits. We finally got some snow on the ground. So hopefully it should be a lot easier to try and get these rabbits. I tried earlier in the year when there wasn't any snow and it just did not go well. So I'm hoping with the snow now, we should be able to see them a little bit easier and hopefully we can get ourselves a rabbit or a squirrel. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get the 17 all sighted in. Well, we're gonna take our first shot with the 17. I'm hoping we can just hit the cardboard so we can see where we are and then we can adjust from there. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna send her and see what happens. Well, I think uh, it was pretty good. I just aimed for the center of the cardboard there and it hit about right on. All right, we did hit right here, uh, just a little low. We're gonna try again and aim high and just see what happens one more time. Well, two mags later, we are completely sighted in and I feel confident enough to go out and get a rabbit. So we're gonna take the 17 HMR out into the trees and start walking and see if we can't get any. <laughs> Bless me. But now let's hope that the chunguses and the squirrels want to play today. So let's get to it. All right. Got her all sighted in. Let's go see if we can't get ourselves a rabbit. Man, that snow is loud and crunchy. I don't know if that's gonna really help us at all today. These rabbits might be a little skittish, but you never know when you're gonna see them. They like to hang around the barn and all this fallen dead stuff. Is that one right there, dude? Oh my God, it is one. It's a little far. I don't know. Should we take that shot? I'm down to take it. All right. Completely whiffed. I think we gotta get closer. He's right at the edge of that brush pile, bro. There's no way. All right. No excuses to miss now, dude. 
Dude, he's not even moving. I don't think I hit him once, dude. Okay, well, maybe we're not sighted in. <laughs> wow. Oh. Anywho, um, yeah, about that one. My guy was sitting right here. You can literally see all the rabbit hair and poop. He's just festering right here. And I was right over there, which I sighted this in in about 10 yards. This thing is probably about 35 yards. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. But, buddy ran over here. Ran into here, who knows where he is now freaking cave in there man <laughs> even if we did see him in there I don't even know how we'd be able to retrieve him good start already I already saw one rabbit fortunately we couldn't get him I think there'll be some more though well before we get further into the trees while we're out in this open area I seen a YouTube video of this guy calling in rabbits. I know, sounds crazy, but this guy literally just took his finger, wetted it, put it on his mouth, and just kind of suctioned that and it made that sound like almost like a dying rabbit, almost like a rabbit in distress. And these rabbits just came running out to him, almost like calling in a coyote or raccoon, but instead for rabbits. It's freaking crazy. I didn't believe it worked, but apparently it does. I'm gonna try that out. We're in a pretty good spot for it. We got trees everywhere. A lot of dead trees in there and a lot of good spots for rabbits to be hiding. So we're gonna see if we can't call them out to the edge of the tree line and just see if any of them are curious about it. I wanna see if it works, so we're gonna give it a whirl. Six hours later. I don't know. If any of you guys have ever heard of anybody calling in rabbits, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'm really curious. I want to do it, but I just don't really know what I'm doing. I just, Like I said, I just saw that one guy do it, and it got my attention, and I want to try it. It doesn't really seem like we got anything to come in, so. We're going to continue walking, and hopefully we can get close to a rabbit and uh, have a close shot on him to where we know this thing is sighted in at. Also, what I have realized is that when you're out rabbit hunting, or just rabbits in general in the winter time, I notice this a lot. Obviously it looks like they're pee, but then there's blue stuff. If any of you guys know what that blue stuff is from, drop a comment down below. I'm really curious, I've always seen it my entire life. Guess I could just do a simple Google research, but kind of curious on what it is, so I want to find out from you guys. Let me know what that is. Okay, I see a rabbit. He's just up there. Try and sneak up on him. He's up there his ways. So. Oh. I think our best bet is to go behind the shed so he doesn't see us. There's a lot of rabbit tracks, so. He's at the edge of the tree there. I'm gonna see if I can't get him on. K 
camera better for you guys. There he is. There's Mr. Rabbit. It's just in that brush pile right there. I think we got him. He's still moving a little bit. We're gonna put another one in him. Oh, here we go. Rabbit down. Whew. That is freaking awesome. Well, the 17 got the job done. Nice up and close. Farther range, I did not have it sighted in correctly for the distance that we were shooting at earlier. And that rabbit got away. But this one did not get away. Oh, you there. Nice little chungus. Well, uh, yeah, I would show you guys more of the rabbit, but uh, where he got shot in the back, kind of, yeah, it doesn't look too pretty. But, hey, a rabbit down is a rabbit down. That's one less pest out here eating mom's flowers in the neighbor's gardens in the summer. We are going to cook this bad boy up. Unfortunately, the back straps kind of got messed up. I was planning on doing the whole rabbit, but it, it's pretty shot up. And uh, I think we're just going to be able to get the back legs off this guy. But we're going to get as much meat as we can off of him. And then we are going to cook him. I'm not really sure how I'm going to cook him quite yet. I'm happy I got a clean shot off this guy. And uh, he didn't suffer. So we're going to go back inside the house, clean him up. And then we're going to cook him. Later that same evening. Woo! Wow. All right. We got our rabbit legs. Unfortunately, the meat on the back and everywhere else in the front was all shot up. Because I did put two rounds into it. Anyways, we are gonna cook this bad boy up and then I think I'm gonna try and convince some of the neighbor boys to come over and try some of this rabbit. They're not very outdoorsy people. Um, I, you know, I don't think they've ever tried rabbit before and if they have, I'd be very surprised. So if they like the rabbit, that means it's good. So I'm gonna be cooking this a very simple, easy way and something that like, you know, maybe they wouldn't be able to tell what it is exactly, so. We're gonna chop this bad boy up and then we are gonna get him all fried up and then hopefully we can convince one of the neighbors to come over and try it. Wow, does this bring back a lot of memories. Some good old Frank's Red Hot sauce, baby. We are gonna pour some of this into this lovely bowl, and then we're gonna put some of our rabbit meat in there and let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go get the flour out and then dip them into the flour. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm assuming most of you guys have already seen this recipe. It's very popular in the YouTube world, um, but uh, it's pretty darn good, and I haven't had it in a while. We are gonna whip up this Frank's Rabbit, and uh, we're gonna give it a whirl. We got our rabbit meat, and now we're just gonna douse that in there. That's more than enough, Franks. Uh, we're just gonna give this a shake, make sure they all get lathered up nice-like. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't have any normal flour, so we are gonna be using the Catch and Cook Crunchy. This stuff is absolutely fire with fish. I haven't tried it with any wild game yet, so I'm kind of excited to try it. I'm guessing it's gonna be really good as it is with the fish. So we are gonna put our lovely rabbit meat into our Catch and Cook seasoning. Well, unfortunately, the neighbors have basketball practice, so they are not gonna be able to come over to eat rabbit with us, unfortunately, but uh, that's fine. It's, that just means there's more for me to eat. So I'm hungry also. It's lunchtime. So we are going to take our lovely rabbit meat and throw it into our bag of catch and cook. We got some of the rabbit meat in there. We're just gonna do the first batch right now. Give it a good shake and they are ready to go. It should be nice and lathered up in that catch and cook seasoning. Now is the oil hot enough is the real question. We just took a pinch of our seasoning and uh, you know, she's. I think she's about ready. Not quite. 
I think we're gonna give her another minute or two to warm up, and then we're gonna throw the rabbit in there and uh, see how the first batch goes. Well, oil is to temp. We got our lovely first rabbit piece that's gonna go in just like that. Beautiful. Man, does that smell good. We're just gonna let that cook and then we're gonna flip it here in a couple minutes and then we're gonna pull her off and she should be good to go. So I'm excited to eat this rabbit. I think they are done, so we're gonna pull them off here. Woo wee, that's the first batch. Time to get the second batch going, and then we got two more batches after this batch. So, it's quite a bit of meat off just two rabbit legs. So, we are gonna get the other ones cooked up, and then we are gonna start munching. We're gonna cut into one of these pieces to see if it's even done first. What do we got going on here? Okay, that looks definitely done. All right, cheers to y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. That was really good. That wasn't even chewy. Mmm. Wow. Here's a big chungus piece. I think I just really forgot how good Frank's was. After all these years of not doing it in a long time, like we haven't done Frank's in like two, three years, I think. And I think it's coming back. It's gonna be back on the channel some more. We're gonna have to do some fish next time we go out fishing. We're gonna have to bring some Frank's and do a little fish fry with Frank's because that stuff is darn good. Let me know what to like compare that to. It's just really good. Like this might be like, wow. Mmm. And the rabbit, it's not even like, a, I don't even think rabbit's all that gamey when you just kind of cook it by itself. But really when you cook it with the Franks and stuff, it just hides all that gaminess if there even really is much. So, wow, but 10 out of 10 with the Franks, man. I don't know if it's just because I haven't ate all day and I'm really hungry, or if it's just that darn good. But on this channel, we've done rabbit stews. We've done a lot of stuff with the rabbit. We've almost cooked rabbit about every single way I could think of. So if you guys have a recipe that you really like to do with rabbit, drop a comment down below. And the next time we go out, we will do a recipe from the comment section. So if you guys want to drop a comment down below, let me know what your favorite rabbit recipe is and we'll do it your way. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>